Uh, do you have any questions after operators, by the way? Not really, but it seemed pretty simple. I know it gets complicated or it will get more complicated. If you think it's going to get complicated, it will get complicated. Just <laughs> everything can be a breeze. That's how okay. I live my life. It's going to be a breeze then. It's going to be a yes, breeze. Be a breeze. So now you have some tools in your belt, right? Mm -hmm. You have console log, you have logging, you have variables, and you have data like strings and booleans and numbers. Mm -hmm. You have type up. Let's go into operators. So operators in JavaScript help us work with data. They'll be used in many ways. Adding numbers. We just talked about that, like minusing numbers, subtracting numbers, multiplying numbers, concatenating strings. So that word sounds crazy, but it's just that if you have two strings, it'll just add those strings together. So if you say hello plus goodbye, it'll just say hello, goodbye. Okay. And uh, comparing values. So that's like earlier when we put three plus four equals uh, and does it equal seven. Do you know the alligators? Like which side the alligator eats less than or greater than? Yeah, that's yeah, how, yeah. <laughs> that's how I think about it. It was a shark, right? It was a shark. And we no, it, in California, it was an alligator. It's the alligator. Cause we so, uh, yeah, because we were so afraid of sharks. Oh, know? I see. I see. <laughs> if you go back to the readme and you go under the operators, you're going to see addition is a plus and increment is a plus plus. You see that? Yeah. So plus plus means uh, just one up. Is it always going to be plus one? Or, I mean, uh, if it's plus plus, right. if it's plus plus, so you could okay. um, so there's other ways where you can say like plus equals five. Plus plus is always just increment one. Decrement is minus minus, which is just decrement at one. Mm -hmm. And then assignment is the equal sign, which earlier we learned the variable, the the initializer, mm -hmm. the text with no uh, spaces, and then equals, and then whatever data you need to be. Comparison, uh, we just talked about it. So it's the two equal sign is kind of like a soft equals. The triple equal sign uh, is like a hard equals. So one equals true. So that's true. Mm -hmm. That's false. So this is like a, a, a soft compare, my mm -hmm. opinion. But then like actually one, if we were really to look, is not true. Because they're different data types. Like just... Mm -hmm. Like this would be true, right? Mm -hmm. One equals equals one would be true, right? I don't think we need to go into it further because I think we could talk about it for a long time. Mm -hmm. But in my code to write clean code, I think you just always want to use the three equal signs. Okay. I always use the, the exclamation point and then equals equals. This is like, um, if it doesn't equal, it'll be like true. So like one doesn't equal two. That equals true, right? Mm -hmm. because it does it this is a true statement one does not equal two but if we put one equals two this is a false statement we can make a variable and increment it i'll do this one so we can say let i equals zero i plus plus and if we console.log i what do you think it's going to log you said it increments it, so it's one. So let's try it out. That increment is only going to happen just that one time. That one time the script is run. Okay. Okay. So if we did I plus plus again, what do you think is going to happen? Then two, right? Because now we're, it's run the first time, one, second time, two. Exactly. So while this script is running, It'll do that. So it gets reset when the script is done running, right? Mm -hmm. So earlier, I think I said, like, you can do I plus equals two. So this is how you jump from jump two. So what do you think it's going to be now? So what we end up to now, plus two, four. Really checking my math here. <laughs> you really have to think, because, like, um, when I think about programming, right? Mm -hmm. It's like, um, you do a lot of things kind of like automatically, right? Like mm -hmm. walking, you don't really think about your knee moving, you lifting your leg. It's just automatic. But in computers, you really have to break it down and be like, this computer doesn't know how to do anything. And I have to give it in instructions mm -hmm. down to like, um, exactly, you know, very obvious things like this equaling four, but you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Taking it down and like uh, being able to read the code, like line, okay, line 13 is starts at zero. Mm -hmm. Okay, then on line 15 in increments by one. Okay, it's one. 
Okay, on line 17, it increments again. Okay, now it's two. Okay, on line 19, it adds two. Okay, four. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Plus equals means we're still doing an increment, but now we're changing. Instead of it just being the one, we want, we're want we modifying the increment amount with that mm -hmm. plus equals. Exactly. Okay. Okay, so if I run it now, it should go four, right? Yep. That's cool. So can you just make like three incrementing um, statements and log them and do it on a number one, exercise one? So I'm going to say, all right, I think that's it. I don't know if that string's right or not. No, it's correct. It's okay. Correct. But I like to put a space so it's a little bit more. Okay. Readable. And uh, why don't you run the code real quick? So no operator JS. Okay. 10. Okay, can you explain the code to me from line 13 to <laughs> uh, 16? All right, so we have uh, let A equals five. So A is five on line 13. Uh, mm -hmm. On line 14, we do an increment uh, with a plus plus, which is gonna give it a plus one to A, and it's gonna reassign it to the number or to the value six. And then we again do the same thing with uh, line 15. And so it gives us the number seven. And then now on line 16, we have A, which is seven, and we incre increment it by three. Uh, and then at that point, A equals 10. And then on line 17, we're console logging and checking to see if my math is right. So. <laughs> Hey, amazing. Right. Amazing. This is, uh, I think it's just like good to go through those exercises to kind of like think about every single small step. Cause mm -hmm. later when you're debugging the code, you might see a big block of code and you're like, okay, I expect it to return this, but then you really have to go back and read it line by line and understand it. And so if I really wanted to check my math, like at each spot, like instead of explaining all of it, would I be doing console log after every single one of those to like, yeah, here I'll just I'll give you an example. Mm -hmm. So you run this code uh three times, right? Mm -hmm. So what if I did something like this, like uh, four let i equals zero. I um, to, I wanted to run three times. I'll increment i, then I'll say let. So I have the a, and then I'll say if if i equals one or zero, so that's i. I want to increment the a plus plus else if uh, i equals one, I want to increment one and then else. So that's on the final try. I want to mm -hmm. do it here. I mean, this is very, you wouldn't write code like this, but this is just an example. Okay. Of, um, <laughs> so actually earlier I said a equals zero, uh, i equals one. So you could actually say people will write code like this and you'll have to debug it, right? Mm -hmm. and it'll be hard because then you'll have to understand because someone could write like you could make this easy code mm -hmm. into this so what what i'm saying is i'm hey i'm looping through i is zero while i is less than three three i want to increment my i and then i'll say hey if i if i is false or if i is zero i want to increment one okay and then it'll go back and it'll be done there. I will become one. And then uh, else if I equals one, then I want to increment one. And then it's less than three. Is I zero? No. Is I one? No. Okay, then we'll go into else. And it'll be three. And we'll add three. And then it'll go back. And I will equal three. Is three less than three? No. And then it'll be over. So what do you think the output of A would be here? Oh, man. I haven't taught you the for loop yet. So mm -hmm. just uh, I want to show like how complicated the code like you're reading could be mm -hmm. when it's just this simple. It is just this code mm -hmm. is in a for loop. So in the end, it'll still be 10. That was not my answer. <laughs> was... It'll still be 10. Yeah. It's just, a, it's, it's complicated for no reason. Right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That, I don't know. I don't fully understand what's going on there and I don't know how you got 10. We'll learn it in for loops. We'll learn about for loops today. Just um, you don't want to write code like this. This is <laughs> <laughs> this is not. Good. Let's get through these uh four exercises real quick. Make two variables that are numbers, and add them together.
So why don't you uh, just put it in a variable then? Cont z or something? Ah, uh, so then z will equal x plus y. Exactly. And But you need to initialize the z. Because it's my first time using it, right? Okay. So let, then I'm going to console log. Uh, Z. Z equals Z. All right. And I would just turn all these into cons because you're not re reassigning any of them. Mm -hmm. Can you do uh, exercise number uh, three? All right. So make three variables and multiply by three. All right. Uh, cons to E. And multiply together. Mm -hmm. Seven. G equals uh, 12. And then I'm going to make this EFGH, right that time. And I'm going to go E. Does it matter space or can I do another one? It's not right. It's your preference. I have no idea what the math is on that. Me 70, neither. 70 times 12, 700 Seven, and 714. Yeah, know. something like that. <laughs> That's what I like. <laughs> Quick math. Quick math. All right. So let's try to run the code. All right. Oh, 800. Way, way off. Wrong. I said it so confidently too. Yes, yes, I was too. Now make two variables that are strings and concatenate them. So that's just adding two strings. So let's try that out. And that's uh, I'm gonna do another const uh, a b c d f g h i good a b c d f g h i j. I'm hopefully everybody's good with the alphabet. Vibes console log i plus oh how do i get a space in there you could either put the space after good like this or you can do um you can put a space like this okay so that's gonna that's that's my string right there and i'm adding just a space yeah of, i'm adding a string that's a space exactly okay no operator js good vibes good vibes there it is and maybe we could have even just, uh, if you wanted the same result, you could have put a comma. Oh, really? Uh, make two variables that are numbers and compare them. So compares are like the alligators or the sharks, like we said, mm -hmm. and like the triple equal sign. Cons K equals 15. L. L. <laughs> In my head, 20. All right. And then compare. Cons M does... K triple equals L? I don't know. I don't feel good about that one. No, it, it's good. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> I should get the Boolean, right? Because I'm using the triple equals. Exactly. So I should get false. Exactly. 15 doesn't equal 20. So we got everything we expected, right? Mm -hmm. and we try to use a, a shark, a greater than or a lesser than sign. And then why don't we try to make the uh, statement true? On line 38, let's just uh, modify it. So then it's going to be, we want to get a true statement, right? So then right. is K less than L, 15 is less than 20. We're going yeah. for true. We're going for true. Amazing. Okay. Oh, Great. <laughs> so just uh, one more thing. On all your logs, I want you to write a log underneath and tell me the data, uh, show me the data type, the type of that it is. So you're going to do something like console.log type of uh, A, like this, and just on top of each of the logs so we can type out what kind of type it is. On 925, console log, type of Z. Mm -hmm. Why don't we do something like this, uh, Shay? Mm -hmm. We do like uh, IJ, like this, and then you can just say type of IJ, and then from here we can just do IJ equals IJ. Yeah, it's like the same pattern that you were mm -hmm. doing with all the other ones, so I just wanted to kind of Okay. Stick with the pattern you're doing. Okay. So we got number that's A, mm -hmm. number that's Z, uh, Z, number H, string, IJ, and a Boolean Ooh. for... And also, whenever you're doing type of, it always gives you back... Uh, these things are always strings. Like, have you used it before? As far as like... like no. After you've done the type... Okay. <laughs> no. I was just... It was a fun fact. It was All a fun right. fact. I just wanted you to know that uh, the return of type of is a string. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you have any questions after operators, by the way? Not really, but it seemed pretty simple. I know it gets complicated or it will get more complicated. If you think it's going to get complicated, it will get complicated. Just <laughs> everything can be a breeze. That's how okay. I live my life. It's going to be a breeze then. It's going to be a yeah, breeze.